Uh, so the next to last thing I want to say is um, we're interested in how much life satisfaction people have. This is really what you're about. And that's our target variable. And we ask the question, as a function of the three different lives, how much life satisfaction do you get? So we ask, and we've done this in 15 replications involving thousands of people, to what extent does the pursuit of pleasure, the pursuit of positive emotion, the pleasant life, the pursuit of engagement, time stopping for you, and the pursuit of meaning contribute to life satisfaction? And our results surprised us. They were backward of what we thought. It turns out the pursuit of pleasure has almost no contribution to life satisfaction. The pursuit of meaning is the strongest, and, the, and this is the pursuit of engagement is also very strong. Where pleasure matters is if you have both engagement and you have meaning, then pleasure is the whipped cream and the cherry, which is to say the full life, the sum is greater than than the parts, if you've got all three. Conversely, if you have none of the three, the empty life, the sum is less than the parts. And what we're asking now is does the very same relationship, physical health, morbidity, how long you live, and productivity follow the same relationship? That is, in a corporation, is productivity a function of positive emotion, engagement, and meaning? Is health a function of positive engagement? of pleasure and of meaning in life. And there is reason to think the answer to both of those may well be yes.